of him, right? Okay. Yep. And then likewise, you know, he's going for the really young, vulnerable, easy, like docile personality with a, a lot of life to go still. Like that's equal. What about vulnerable? When you're young, when you're a teenager, when you're in your early 20s, this is both for men and women, you're a sponge. And um, that's a vulnerable place to be where you're not operating from an educated, experienced position. They're vulnerable in terms of they're easily swayed. They're easily suggestible. So that's what I mean by vulnerable. Like, they're a sponge. So do you so think I mean, you shouldn't be joining the military at that age? I mean, I joined at 17, but that's yeah, a Yeah, I know, point. but well, you I... definitely shouldn't have because you're a sponge and you're easily suggestible. Andrew, you don't have any autonomy. Completely... You're just kind of a fool, right? No, you, that's you completely different. You're going well, in the that's military. Completely, why is it completely different? Oh, well, I'll tell you. So I... when you go into the military, like I did at 17, you're going into a safe. When I mean safe, I mean it's structured. There's laws and rules and regulations in place. There's Oh, because there's not laws and rules and regulations in place for, you know, relationships and for marriage, even though there is, right? Like you can't just randomly essay women, right? Even if you're in a relationship, there's still laws in place even if you're not in the military, right? I don't know why you're getting so heated, Andrew. Well, but I want uh, an answer to the question. There's the tone I policing know, already, I just know engage. Why you think, I wanna know why you think it's okay to be, when you say sponge, right? Oh, they're just a sponge. You know, they have so much life left to live, girl. I, right? guess, I guess I'm just like, what is your point? Hang like, on, let me finish and yeah, then I'll turn point? it over to you. Okay, let me t hang on, let me finish. You say, oh, they're a sponge. They're just absorbed. They're easily influenced, right, and totally suggestible. These are your words. Correct. But of course, they should be joining the military because they're easily suggestible. They're like sponges. They could be easily influenced in doing things they ordinarily wouldn't do. The SA rate for women in the military is sky high. Seems like, ah, it's a little bit of a contradiction there, right? No, I disagree because they're, one, they're two completely separate topics. The question was, do I think that they're, that massive of an age gap is an issue? And my answer, in my opinion, is yes, I think it's an issue. I think like 10 years is appropriate as a max. But like once you start getting into like the 20s, et cetera, I think it's completely disproportionate. There are different areas of their lives. And that's my opinion. Like when you're commanding officer, for instance, who's probably going to be much older than you are, right? That's so different, Andrew. Like, one is a why, teacher. Why is it different? You're suggestible, which means you can't make good decisions because you're a sponge. You're always absorbing the things that are around you. you this know, is your logic, the entailment of your logic. Are you going to have a discourse this. like adults or what? I you can't mean, finish talking. I just have to off. come in and pick one of yeah, you to finish your fine. things. Andrew gets to finish. That's Go ahead, fine. Andrew. Okay. So anyway, your line of logic would still apply to other situations. If women are easily suggestible, they're just young sponges, they're just absorbing the things around them. You say these are two different situations as though I'm talking about them like they're the same situation. The logical entailment though would apply in both. That's the point. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I didn't spe specify women. I said young people both men and women, when they're in their early 20s, are very suggestible, impressionable. They're sponges. That's what I said. So I wasn't specifically talking about women. And the difference that I was trying to articulate was that a 20-year age gap between myself, as an example, and a staff sergeant that's in charge of my platoon, his job is to train me, is to educate me, is to lead me, is to build me into being a soldier. Toby McGuire's job is not to teach a 20-year-old how to be an adult and a woman and to know her rights and to know her boundaries and her limits and what she likes and doesn't like. That's not Toby's job. That's not a job. staff sergeant's job either to teach you how to be a woman. They're two completely different topics. That's your logic. Staff sergeant's job not to teach you how to be a woman either. When you're talking about a power imbalance, if you're saying that people are so young and impressionable they can't make the decision of who they date based on an age gap, which is absurd, this logic should still apply to the situations that they can engage in, which is contractual. For instance, signing a, oh, I don't know, a four-year contract for your life, right, that you then hand over to the government. If you're incapable of determining who you can or can't date, why in the world would I think that you could determine whether or not you signed your life over to the U.S. government? So hold on, again, two completely different topics. I did not say a staff sergeant was gonna teach me how to be a woman. A staff sergeant would be teaching me how to be a soldier, just to clarify. And in terms of the topic of you know them joining the military, et cetera, again, we're not talking about that. We're talking about whether I personally, the question was whether I personally find issue with a 20 year plus age gap. I personally find an issue with it. I don't think it should be illegal. Should the woman be able to decide to do that? Or a man could be reversed. Absolutely, it's their choice, it's their business. I'm just saying the question was, 
Do I have an issue with it? it. So then here's what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm taking your applied logic that you apply in this situation and also equally applying it to other situations to see if it's consistent. It's called an analogy, right? So in this analogy, if you have a personal problem with age gap relationships based on the fact that there's power dynamics and that the woman can be super suggestible to this 49 year old who's super powerful and these these all powerful off, okay? Then this would still apply to the fact that if she made other contracts or other life choices, why is it that she's capable of those you have no problem, but you have a problem in the instance of her picking her partner? Again, these are two completely different scenarios. Listen, we, we Andrew, know. we we just disagree. So I think we should move on because we definitely we just, that's the argument. I'm not going to keep arguing with you. So we disagree. That's my opinion. I don't need no. you to agree with it. I don't need you to find logic in it. That's just my opinion. So I'm ready to move on. Keep don't going, but you're going to be all by yourself. Good for you. Yeah, you, you tell that mean guy who wants the logical consistency. No, I love you, you, Andrew. The, I don't think he's sure. mean. I just think it's two completely different scenarios. It's not even the same thing. Yes, I will. I'm moving on, Andrew. Are apples the same as oranges? Can you, can you answer any basic questions? Is up the opposite of down? No, just not nothing. We're just not. We're just not going to answer any questions at all. Which, what we'll do is we'll just take positions that never defend them. I'm not going to do that. I'm That's, not here to debate you, Andrew. What are you here to do? I'm here for the dating conversation. This is a conversation I'm about dating. We're talking about specifically a person who's dating someone who's far older, and I'm testing the logical consistency of your position. But I don't need you. I don't need you to decide whether my logic about whether I think a 20-year age gap is appropriate or not. I didn't. I don't need your approval on that. I didn't say you needed my approval. So then we're having why, a conversation. We're, it's I don't, not I don't a care conversation if you or not. when you're just like going <laughs> to, to disrespect. Andrew, I'm not going to do tone? this with you this time. Are you going to use the HR thing? Is it the wrong tone? Is it the HR tone? Are you going to give me the HR tone speech? Don't do the HR tone speech. No, I'm just, I'm, oh. I'm not entertaining this, Andrew. Not today. Okay. I mean, if you don't want to engage, you don't, you don't have to engage. Yeah. But just, I'm in my know, healed you, girl you era, <laughs> Andrew. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to argue with you today. We're going to be friends again after this. Oh, I don't, I don't take any of it personally. I just, I don't understand why you take a position and then won't defend it. Because I, I okay, I'm going to tell you why, if you generally care to know, because mm-hmm. we're talking about my opinion on whether a 20 year age gap is appropriate or not. I don't think it's appropriate. And right. you tried to bring in logic about someone joining the military, which is a completely different, like not even in the same universe. But you can still test the logic of a person to see you if they're consistent. Need- so, All I'm trying to do is this. I get that you have a problem with an age gap. What I'm trying to determine is why. And if you have that problem, in this instance, I would assume that in an instance which was similar, where these same traits are applied, you'd have the same problem. Makes sense to me. So where, again, I'll just recap it one more time for you, why the logic cannot be applied to the same scenario. Because I'm talking about a, a, a young girl or boy, it doesn't matter what gender, going into a scenario where they don't even know they're left from right they're up from down they're brand new into being out of high school they're just entering the world etc for a 49 year old man or woman to come and pluck one of those two people up you would uh, my first question is why do you have an interest in someone that young like like where is that coming from because they want to bang them Okay. They think they're hot. And if, what do if, you mean? And if, and if it's consensual, have fun, right? But I'm just saying, I personally find that disturbing. I don't think that's appropriate. Now, you want to why? What's up? inappropriate? Yeah, about why? It? Why is it disturbing? Because I think the 49 year old, like if it, if you guys are just trying to hook up, go for it, have fun, whatever. But I think once you start like in this scenario, because the question going back to what the actual question was, which is, do you think, do I think Toby McGuire and this 21 year old girl, like, what's my opinion on that? I'm telling you, I have an opinion of that. That person is now in the limelight. They're uh, surrounded by an environment where there's a lot of pressure. There's all of these different scenarios that they're going to be faced with. And they're so young. They don't even understand what that means. Now they're going to be painted as, you know, dating someone who could be their father, you know, in the news. I have a so problem then, with it. So then there's the same logic would apply the other way. No, it's they're completely joining, different. I, okay, I, I go ahead. Swore it was. I think we need a safe word, so, Andrew. So I could swear that the, the logic would apply the exact same here. They're young and impressionable. They don't know, as you say, they're left from their right. Right, they're just plucked up. They're offered a bunch of incentives to do X thing, right? Mm-hmm. All of these things are true. Why is it that this woman, in this case, not even a hypothetical woman, why is it that they're incapable 
of judging whether or not they can date somebody with a significant age gap, but somehow are capable of deciding whether or not they could sign a contract for four years of their life, entering into a situation they also have zero experience in. Completely different. First of all, I did not say you're adding in things I didn't say. I did not say they're <coughs> incapable thing? of deciding whether they want to be in the relationship. I already said more power to them. The question was if I have an opinion on it, and I do. I think I think it's bad, and you I have like an opinion it. which is informed by a worldview. I'm speaking from experience. You got to let me finish now. But no, speaking from a worldview, and I'm trying to investigate the worldview. I'm speaking from experience because I was mm -hmm. once a young 20-year-old girl, 15 years ago. That was in a situation hey, that was in a situation with someone significantly older than me and it was not a good situation for multiple reasons there is a power dynamic difference there i was uneducated you know about the person i didn't even know what to ask i didn't know what screening questions to ask it was an inappropriate horrible situation and it was a very toxic relationship and now really quickly to address why i think it's so important that we separate these topics is the military is an educational system it is a career it is guided by instruction and education and purpose and mission and all of these things it has nothing to do with that person on the romantic level there's a difference between the military putting you in boots and someone trying to fuck you there's a, there's really? a big difference because last time yes. i checked the power imbalance which exists inside of the military is such that the sa rates for women are sky high due to this power imbalance usually from male officers who have a significant age gap far more likely to be essayed in that than you are in an age gap relationship i, and I don't agree with since that you're drawing well I, how can you disagree one, because I'm a woman in the military. Would you like the stats? Well, first of all, I want to know where you got the stats, because a lot of people throw out stats and they're not even mm -hmm. verified stats. Second, I've well, been in the military. Second, I've been through an essay case, et cetera. So I know a lot about essay in the military, and I promise you it's a very small number. It's a very small number of the military. And now in well, terms of, in terms of like, the, if we're comparing, I, if I'm not done, get if we're comparing rates of people uh -huh. who get essayed outside of the military, it's a much higher number. So I want to be really careful that we're not conflating the <coughs> rates of essay between the military and the, the, uh, we're comparing the rates of essay in an age gap relationship versus the rates of SA If you're inside of the U S military as a female, those are analogous, right? So now no. we have. Yes, because they apply to your power imbalance. The whole your whole argument is about a power imbalance. First of all, I don't so have if, an argument. So if you're a woman who can sign on to a power imbalance in the military, and you're actually more likely to be SA going into the military than you are to be in an age gap relationship, which is true, then I don't understand the argument of the power imbalance. That's what I don't get. So okay, first of all. I don't have an argument. I, this is just my opinion, just to be clear. Okay. The question was, do I agree or disagree with it? I don't agree with it. I don't need to prove my point to you, and I would really love to move on. Well, I have a couple questions. So I guess perhaps what Andrew's trying to get at, so your issue with age gap relationship is the potential for harm. Is that one of the issues? <laughs> Right? Harm? There's a potential for harm uh, no, that's, to the woman. To, to me, like, I think there's a lot of su successful relationships with that big of an age gap. Why else, I guess, object to it if there's no potential for harm? Your, your grievance with it seems to be the potential for harm to the woman. No, I just think that I, I'm more focused on the older person's reasoning for why they're seeking someone so okay. significantly so much younger. So make an argument for why a man who's 40 ought to date a 30-year-old compared to a 20-year-old. Like, um, what's in it for him? They're much closer in age. Like, 10 years is appropriate to me. I would say that's uh, like the no, max. No, make a compelling argument in terms of the benefits to the man. If your issue isn't so much the harm to the woman, make an argument as to why men ought to date sure. a 35-year-old over a 25-year-old. Okay. So, one, if the end goal is that they're looking for successful long-term marriage, relationship, family, kids, whatever, you would prefer to date a 35-year-old over a 25-year-old because the 35-year-old has a lot more life experience. Well, when you say more life experience, more trauma, more no, that's baggage. that's not what I mean at all. More sexual partners. No, no, no. Now you're adding in well, things. life experience. No, 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 you that's mean not what I said. You mean that's not what I said. Right, but yeah, yeah. So I'm talking about 
life experience is in contrast is in what they want and what they don't want and i'm talking about jobs career where they want to live okay career who they want to yeah. hang out with who they want to associate with their ideology their religion okay. their whether they're spiritual or not there's a lot of contrasting yeah. moments which by the way i'm not at all talking about anything to do with relationships i'm specifically talking about maturity in life maybe they've gone to college like there's a lot of different things that will help mm -hmm. shape the woman and the person that they're going to become so there's a couple things here so you mentioned life experience do you think a woman's life experience is high on the totem pole in terms of what men find attractive or care about? To be honest, high quality men would care about that. About your life experience? Yeah. High quality men would care about that. So does that include both positive life experiences and negative life experiences? You know, for some people, I think I, I, conversations that I've had with extremely high quality men, I think they would care if you've had some contrast in your life so, so you can yeah. learn and grow. And how did you come to the conclusion that high quality men care about females' life experiences? Like what, how did you come to that conclusion? They told you? I've had a lot of extremely intelligent conversations with a lot of extremely intelligent men, high level men, and they absolutely, if they're appropriate and they have good intent to be married, to have a wife, to have a family, to have children, et cetera, those mm -hmm. are the things they care about. The, a woman's life experiences. High on the I can, totem pole. I can tell based on your line of questioning that you're trying to make a point. So just make the point. Do you think that a woman's life experiences are high on the totem pole in terms of what men find attractive or what they value in a partner. If they, oh, so besides physical attraction, which I think is the baseline, I think physical <laughs> attraction is absolutely the baseline, right? Okay, is a 25 year old woman more physically attractive at 25 or at 35? Sometimes 25, sometimes not. If they've had some work done, they're probably a little bit better. Do you think you're 34, correct? I'm 34. Do you think you're more physically I'm, attractive now yes. at 34 than yes. you were at 24? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, we had this conversation before. You haven't seen me at 24. You don't know what I look like at 24. Well, I just know, like, sort of about aging. Sure, but... You um, know, the impact it has on your skin. But go ahead. Just one quick point of clarification. I was kind of going through... I always take notes when people are speaking, right? Because I have a bad memory. But you did say that you didn't have any problem if they hooked up. You only had a problem yeah. if they were in a long-term relationship. Yeah, I, sure. start, I was going to bring that I'm, up. I'm happy to walk through this. And again, guys, this is just my personal opinion. I find it a little icky when there's an older man dating a super young woman. It seems hang on, a little hang on. weird. Does it, give you the, it gives you the ick. It gives me the ick. It gives me the ick. This is just my personal opinion. Like I said, I... So it's fine if they have casual sex and never talk again. Listen, I That's said my weird. personal opinion. This is just my personal opinion. If they're just hooking up, that's their right as consenting adults. Where I get concerned is when the older man is trying to look at this person as like their wife and this poor girl who's like 21 years old has not even experienced any life in any way, shape or form. That's just not going to work what? out well. That's just my opinion. Oh, guys, I really want to Hold on, hold on. on. Let me, but okay, you, you said the thing, so I got to respond. Sure. So, okay, <laughs> just to be clear, Less predatory, less bad if the guy fucks her and never talks to her again versus... I didn't say he's, that. You said if they're just hooking up and that's it. I didn't say But that. when the guy wants something a bit more serious, that's where you have a bit more of an issue. I think that them trying to date long term and like like her become a wife at 21 years old to somebody who is double or triple her age good, is good creepy. Catch. So okay. I couldn't believe it. You're fine. Yeah. Short -term. Right. How this is, is my personal opinion. I don't need to convince you guys. This is just my personal opinion. I think it's icky. I'm not even mad at her. I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? Like go in your own age range, like get a little closer. It gives me the ick. But so going back to the question at hand, you said that you're kind of fine with it if it's just casual. The age gap. So if it, it's short term, it's you're their fine. business. They're consenting adults. I just find it creepy when now you're like at a restaurant and you look next to you and this guy's gray haired and could be her grandfather and she looks like she just got out of high school. That's weird. But so just I'll ask the question again. Yeah. You're okay if they hook up one, two, or three times and then that's the extent of it, but you're not okay if the man is desirous of a long term. I'm not okay with term. that at all on a personal level, but, but, you, it's, that's what, but I'm saying it's their business. I don't need you to so, so understand isn't it, this. Isn't it I don't also need... their business? That's cool. I'm just ready to... But I'm asking for clarification. Sure. So you're fine with it or more fine with it if it's short term, but if the guy is desirous of long term, that's your... I'm you saying have it's more none of, of my issue. business, but you know, like if they're having... So wouldn't that be none of your business if it's a long term? You asked me my opinion on seeing the news of Toby McGuire dating someone double his age, I said, I don't like it. Right, but you made a statement. 
I'll repeat myself one more time. Sure. You made a statement where you said you don't really care or you don't mind if it's just kind of casual. They're just hooking up. Do you recall saying that? I do. Okay, so then that would seem to imply that you do have an issue then if it's more long term. If the, the older man's desirous of having a long term relationship yeah. with her. Whereas if he's just like, eh, sees her at the club, wants yeah. to fuck, then that's kind of that's cool and she's a consenting adult etc but where it gets weird for me is like and this is for all young men and women they're gonna go through a few bodies as they're exploring a lot of people in general right not everyone some people don't but like i think that but if you're asking me specifically in that scenario but i'm just saying i don't think that that guy should be like getting married to someone who's triple younger what if they than did him for five years and now she's she's 20 now she's 25 yeah. Too young just, for Leo. I'm just done, Brian. I'm done with this topic. <laughs> too old. You're asking my too opinion. Old. I don't like, I don't need you. To... Yeah, but you you said another thing, and now I'm trying okay. to get to the bottom Brian, of I, the thing that you I said. I literally, you asked me my opinion. Yes, I gave you I'm my asking, opinion. I don't yeah, like, well, okay. I don't but now I'm you, asking for clarification. But I don't need you to prove me right or wrong. That's I'm not just trying my to opinion. prove you right or wrong. I'm asking, you can't even answer the question. Well, I, I'm answering I understand, the question. I understand you're trying to give your opinion. Now, all Brian and Andrew are trying to do is I figure out what is that logical reasoning behind it. Because if there is no logical reasoning behind it, maybe well, your opinion yeah, should I'm change. I'm going to engage in your opinion. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to engage in your opinion. That's that's correct. Yes, Andrew, you're right. I just I don't like it. You don't like I it when I engage like with your opinion? No, I'm talking about the dy dynamic. I just don't like it. Maybe like I, okay, that's you fair. Guys, move, move, on. On. So, move on. Well, yeah. hold on, hold on. Just to be clear, if I want to talk about this for the next five hours, we're going to talk about it for the yeah. next five hours. It is Brian's show. To. Now, I'm not inclined to talk about it for yeah. the next five hours, but if you wanted to move on, instead of kind of attempting to ob obfuscate and derail, you could just like... There was no derailing or obfuscating. Yeah, I'm done talking about it. you could just like answer it. the question. But so, I did. No, you just kind of say, I already answered the question, now move on. Okay, the Brian, question you've was, been in a bad mood the since question, everybody cool, showed yes, up. Yes, I have been in a bad yeah, mood. Yeah, and you're taking Deal it out it. on me right I'm now. I'm not taking it out on you. You I'm are. I would engage with you just like this, regardless. If, if I had the most smooth pre-show, I would have engaged with you just like this, regardless. So it has no, nothing to do with the fact. No, you'd be a little bit nicer. No, no, I, I can... I can Attest, Brian. Would I would engage with you. This is, not I would my this is my exactly like, ninth the same. time here. Yeah, I'll ask cool. one final question, and then I will move it on. Just as a point of clarification, can you answer? You said you don't object if it's older man, younger woman, and they're just hooking up. It's their business. But you do object, older man, younger woman, serious long-term monogamous relationship. I would look at that older man and I would wonder what is going on with his mental health that he needs to date someone who is young enough so to he's be his mentally, daughter. Now older men sure. are mentally ill sure. for being attracted sure. to young adult women. Yeah, that's They're creepy. It's, it's creepy. No, it's a mental illness. I think so. You think it's a mental illness for men to be Maybe. attracted to... Brian, Brian, stop. It's only anything. a mental illness if they want to date him. It's fine to fuck him. No, I, I'm <laughs> telling you, I don't care. It's just my opinion. It's my opinion. Right. What are you doing yeah, dating so your gross. grandfather? I know. It's so gross of that chick to do that. So what just to be clear, chick. your position is men are mentally ill for desiring young adult women. So like 21-year-old women. It's mental illness. It's like, yeah, why would you want to date your daughter? What? Well, he's can not I? dating his daughter. You're he's like, not dating his daughter. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There, I can get, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. I Please. just want to clarify your position. You originally said mental health, right? You were like, it raises mental health concerns. Yeah. I agree with that. And you're using the term mental health illness. Those are two very different things. What? You can no, the same. have they're mental the same, health bro. symptoms. The okay, so what mental health concern is there well, for I'm a just... man to be attracted to a 21-year-old adult woman? What this is the mental my health? Point. So you're trying to differentiate between mental well, health and mental illness? I was wondering if you were using the same terminology for mental health and mental illness. It's okay if you I'm are. I'm pretty okay, sure so they're it interchangeable. Was, it, was a, it was like, it, first of all, it was an off the cuff comment, so it's not that serious, but I said I would be concerned about their mental health. Why are they dating someone? And hear me out for a second before you jump in. There's a lot of men out there who are dating women, sometimes younger or the same yep, age as their daughters. About that. Oh, okay. And uh, because that's where the daughter comment came in, because you said, well, it's not his daughter, mm -hmm. that are about the same age. Why would you want to date someone? Say, look, first of all, I have a 15 year old son. I would never, five years from now, when he's 20, I would Hold never do oh, that. Okay, I actually have a rebuttal to this. Okay. So, does, so you're saying that any characteristic which a child possesses, you must not then date a person who possesses the characteristic of 
your child. No, so for I didn't example, say that. if the skin color of your child is white, how dare you date somebody who's the same skin color Brian, as your that. child? Right, but that's the logical. I didn't say that. You're saying that if there's a trait that your child possesses, it then becomes uh, weird and creepy I do if think you date somebody creepy. who possesses yeah. the same trait. So for example, no. if your child has blue eyes, you are then a predator nope, for dating somebody who has blue That's your argument though. No, it's though. not. No, it's I, not. Dude, do you really think that's what I'm saying? Do, do you genuinely think that I'm saying that? You literally just said that in your logic, any type of characteristic that that person possesses. Okay. Are you saying that I said, you said it verbatim? I didn't even, that wasn't okay, even a so thought then, in my mind. I, I don't understand this, this comparison. He's drawing a parallel comparison, like they're comparable. Or we could just stay on what I actually said. So like, I look at you being 21 years old as, oh my God, let me take you under my wing. Let me help you out. So let me take care of you. But why does she need no, that? No, it's, I think I Creepy. do agree. Okay, That's I That's what you say, do to the generation. Wait, do you think a 30 year old man is mentally ill if they found her physically attractive? There's a less than 10 years age okay, difference. Okay, 35. I would be concerned, like, dude, what are you doing with a 21-year-old? Your prefrontal cortex doesn't develop, Fake start news. developing until you're 25. Okay, so should people be voting then? Should you be able to vote at should that age? Vote? No. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Should you be able to vote? I think that given our current political system and how one vote, I think that's a hard one. So with your vote, mm -hmm. you could elect a representative, a president, congressman, represent, whatever it is, who could send us to war, which could lead to a nuclear holocaust. Do you think that that's a bigger issue than being able to have a romantic sexual relationship with a man who's 20, 10, 20 years older than you? I think that's a very interesting comparison to draw yeah. between those well, two Well, hold on, issues. but with yeah. your vote, yeah. okay, with your vote, you can empower a representative who could send us to war that could result in conceivably some sort of catastrophic scenario where there's nuclear war. Do you think my vote individually would have that much of an impact? One individual yes, vote? Yes, sometimes it can come down to just two or 3,000 votes. Yes, definitely your vote matters a great deal. So what Brian's ultimate point here is, if your prefrontal cortex is not developed until you're 25 and you can't make rational decisions on who you will end up with, only a person with a prefrontal cortex, which is fully developed, can, then why would we give you the rights to drive, vote, participate in, in signing contracts like the military, things like that? Mm -hmm. You're basically saying that you don't have the cognitive ability to make the decision to date older men, but you have the cognitive ability to run the nation. And that's where the comparison is where you're like, what? It's not even the cognitive decision to date older men. It's making the cognitive decision to make any wise dating decisions whatsoever. Decision, so should people before the age of 25 be dating at all? But if, we're so far from the actual question. You asked me my opinion on what I thought about 21 year old, but, but now we're down like voting, the well, military. No, 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 no. Like, no, no, no. Can we just stick to the point? So, like, the topic shift, hang on, the topic shifted off of you because she brought up the prefrontal cortex argument. This is a very common feminist argument, happens often. And I'm fine with the argument. I just am only fine with it if we can agree on the entailments of what that means. If you're saying that a woman's prefrontal cortex is not fully developed till 25, and because of that, she's not making good rational decisions about who she can or can't date, then why would we let her make rational decisions about other things with impacts? Well, That's yeah, the point. She probably doesn't, like, uh, uh, young people she don't even understand what she it means. She has a voice, speak, I I'm promise. not talking about her, about her. No, I'll I'm let, talking about yeah. the, the, the woman. The... Let you finish. No, you go ahead, you're good. That's okay. No. I wasn't even talking about you. I think that is an interesting question to pose. I think that it also does come to the fact that I pay taxes currently. Do you? Yes, I do. I pay taxes, <laughs> I work. I have had multiple jobs. Go ahead, Andrew. 15 and, 15 and 16 year olds pay taxes. I know, but 15 and 16 year olds pay taxes, so that would mean that by the entailment of that, 15 and 16 year olds should be able to vote. go back to the vote. question. <laughs> right? The original question. If you say, oh, I pay taxes, so I should be able to vote. Okay, that makes sense. But then that would apply to all taxpayers, which would include 14, 15, 16 year olds have part time jobs, they pay taxes. Should they be able to vote? I was only trying to do that, and that has led us down a million gajillion rabbit holes, and I think that we should continue moving around. Do you want, so do you, are you just conceding the point then? Well, there's no point to concede to. You asked me my opinion, I gave you my opinion, and you guys like vultures are like, hold on, <laughs> let's talk about the military and voting and all these other things. I, I just said it gave me the ick. I don't like it.
And I don't need you to agree or disagree. Andrew, just been you, asking you and I have done this time. before. You and I have done this before. Oh, you mean when I was in a room where I was outnumbered nine to one? You're not outnumbered. Oh, did, did ever. I traumatize you in a room where I was outnumbered? You never nine traumatized to one? me. Really? Are you serious? Andrew, you're not outnumbered. You're not outnumbered. That, 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 you're you're outnumbered, outnumbered nine to one, and I was the vulture. <laughs> like what? And you weren't outnumbered at all. There was like five guys on that show. No, there wasn't. There, there was the host. And the host stayed silent for the entirety of the show, except Sartain and moved it there on. Was it was me and one other guest. No, there was Michael. I forget yeah, the hosts. Those are the hosts. Yeah. They didn't say anything the whole show. That doesn't mean they it weren't was, there. It was all women versus two guys, and the other guy barely said anything. So I don't, I don't know how how we were the vultures, but okay. All right. Well, I do want to get the other panelists in on this. So back to the original thing, Toby McGuire. Your thoughts. Thank you. <laughs> You had a lot of time to think about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a lot at once. Okay, he's 49, she's 20. Your thoughts? I believe it's anybody's opinion against their own because I have been and I have known people in age gap relationships or casualties to where I'm like, I know one couple that is still together to this day. I believe she's 18 and he's 40. And they've been together for, I think it's 20. I might have the age difference. They up. met. But they oh. met. When she was 18. <laughs> yes. And he was 40. Even years. Okay. Years. <laughs> She's about to say that together. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That was highly. I think we can all agree we object to that. The consensual relationship, I have been to their place oh, to where I'm like, they pretty much act like an old married couple. <laughs> So when they met, she was 18 and he was 40? Yes. Okay. Uh, but in terms of... Reality check donated $200. So, Bimbo Lady basically called all men mentally ill. Congratulations. Now all your potential partners are mentally ill. Have fun with that. It's actually true because most men are attracted to young adult women. Yeah. Well, what about if it's the opposite? Why so, happened just the women go after that's, the men? Yeah, that's I, fine. Just let, it, let me clarify again. First of all, I did not say that if they're attracted to younger women is a problem. I said if they're pursuing someone the same age as their daughter, that's weird. Okay. And Let me ask you a question. Let's say there's a 50-year-old man with a daughter and a 50-year-old man without a daughter. Is there any differentiation there? No. I'm, so just, I'm saying that large of an age, age gap. That large of an age gap is gross to me. And the, going back to the, the mentally ill thing, I don't need you to agree with me. Okay, so the mental me. illness, though, for men to be attracted to like a 21-year-old. Not to be attracted, but why are you, date. Date, okay, why fine, are you dating date. her? Why are you dating her? Yeah, I absolutely think, that's, last, I think it's weird. Last, and then I agree, we've kind of beaten the dead horse, yeah, right? I think it's but weird. My last, my last follow-up, would you ever accept for me the argument that I do not condone LGBTQ because I find it to be gross? Would you ever say that that's okay? That's your opinion. That's your opinion. So, like, if you... Yeah, you wouldn't question my opinion, though. If I wanted to vote to legislate it or things like that... Then would you oppose it? It's your vote. You can do whatever you want with your vote. So you wouldn't even You're, question it. You would just say no problem. The question is if I have opinion. a problem with it or not. I have a problem with it. So what if weird. somebody said that they didn't like other races because they find it icky? Would you say anything about their opinion then? Again, it's the, the, I'm talking about my opinion here. So you have no opinions about anybody else's opinions, even if you disagree with them? I didn't say I had an issue with them being attracted to younger women. I said I have an issue with them pursuing the younger women. You don't really yeah, answer. The argument is just it's Ask the Ask your ick. question, Brian, because I just did. But if the argument is just it gives you the ick, then I, I don't know. Couldn't I use that argument for basically any form of discrimination sure. I could ever sure. think of? Sure. And would you have anything to say about that? Or would you just be like, oh, that's fine. It's your opinion. Well, I didn't come to argue, first and foremost. I didn't come to argue. Or debate. You didn't come on to I just an came to talk about dating, dating, dating to topics. I did not come to argue. So that's why I'm saying we should. Well, did you just come to monologue? I came to have a conversation, not to argue. That's what we're doing. No, we're that not. That conversation's become no, we're adversarial. Not. No, we're not. When you guys are laughing, rolling your eyes, like <laughs> make, making statements and comments that hey, basically try to invalidate my opinion and things like that. It's okay for me to make arguments that invalidate your opinion if I disagree with it, one. And two, you think that we have the monopoly on eye rolling in this conversation? Really? There's a re I'm just like a regular conversation. There's a respect level we're exchanging ideas, but that's not what's happening here. That's what not is what's happening, happening here. here. It's like three, four people at a time jumping in to basically invalidate that person's opinion.
What if their opinion's wrong and you wanted to invalidate? Like, for instance, if you were a racist who just said, I don't like X race because I find it icky, what would be wrong with four of us jumping in and going back and forth with that person one at a time in order to invalidate a bad opinion? No, the logic is exactly the same. It's the the justification of the same. Ick is ick. Yeah. That's it. Did you give an answer? (laughs) Yes. Did we get an answer? (laughs) Yes. What was it? I think it's to each their own as long as they're consenting adults. Okay, so no issues with Toby Maguire, 49, dating 20-year-old Lily? No. Okay, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I don't have, I don't think that's weird or anything like that. I mean. Okay, you're fine with it? I don't care. They're adults. They want to do Wait. it. They're adults. They can do what they want to do. She's 21. Women tend to mature quicker than men anyways. Mm-hmm. I would not date anybody my age. Mm. Did you guys just show what about their prefrontal (laughs) cortex though? Did you ever think about that? Never even thought about that, did you? You just thought, well, they mature faster. Hmm. See, that's so not having a conversation, Brian. That's where now you're that being a dick to her. That was me making a joke. And it's it's not a joke. No, I know that you're allergic to laughter and joke. having any sort of a good time, but you know, it was, yeah. it was clearly a that's joke. That's where you're like joking. being disrespectful. That was the opposite of disrespect. I was making fun of you by <laughs> by laughing I with didn't, her. I didn't <laughs> say anything about that. Was pretty fun, oh. but yeah. Hmm. Okay. Did you have any further thoughts on the? Yeah. No. I tell me more here. I think there are other reasons besides mental illness that a man would be interested in dating someone who's younger. My roommate and I discuss this topic regularly. We don't want to date someone who's over the age of like 30, 31, 32, because one, they all have all of this extra life baggage. Like why are you, why have you matured now? What took you so long in your life to be like, okay, now I'm gonna start considering marriage specifically. Two, am I gonna be able to actually have a family with you? I know women have a clock and it's ticking, I want to have a bunch of kids. I want to have a large family. That's really important to me. I don't want to spend the first five to ten years of my marriage deprogramming all of that emotional baggage. I don't want to have to spend all that time doing that at the same time as trying to raise a family, maybe having your emotional trauma baggage poured into the kids, into those impressionable minds. I don't want to have to deal with that. So I understand why a man any age, whether that's 49, whether that's 20, would want to date a woman who's a little younger. It makes sense. And there are other reasons besides mental illness that they would want to do so. Okay. Do you want to walk back the mental illness thing or you're pretty confident? I that? said that I'd be wondering what's going on with them mentally, that they would be attracted to someone 20 years their junior. So no, I'm not oh, walking so it back. attracted. Because before to, you said to dated, date, to like to be uh, with, but you to just said if sure. they're attracted. To, yeah, I so mean, just like, by virtue of being attracted to a 21 year old woman. Listen, I'll, I'll go in a little bit further here, okay? When I have conversations with people that are 20 years younger than me, or let's say, you know, just to keep it like at 20, Sorry. right? Sorry, what? Uh, I, I'm looking at them as like they're immature, they're not experienced in any way, shape, or form. They're they're vulnerable, they're impressionable, right? Their eyes wide open, deer in the headlight, right? To me, if a man mm-hmm. is 20 years older, and by the way, somebody said in here that chat right there, like, like 30, 30 is appropriate, but I'm talking about early 20s, they're barely out of high school. And if you're gonna consider one, being with them, having a relationship with them, settling down with them, et cetera, you're preying on them. They're not even on the same level as you. Like, what do you have in common with someone 20 years your junior? They probably can't even name a pop artist from your generation. Really? You think, okay, so okay, there's, there's a whole lot there. You said sure. pray, you mentioned the yeah. commonality. Okay, what in general do men and women have in common to begin with <laughs> that would be sufficient enough to just on the basis of having a commonality would be like, I'm wanting to date this person just on the basis of us having shit in common. <laughs> Said no one ever. That's not true, Brian. Said yeah. no one ever. not true. Bro, have it's you ever known a guy? Have you ever known a guy who you had the most in common with, but you didn't end up dating them? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I have friends that I have co- that I have a lot in common with but that we didn't not, date because there's chemistry and right, sexual attraction. It's clear then that. <laughs> Having commonalities is not high in the totem pole of no, I what matters. I disagree. I disagree. You mentioned pop artists. I don't give a fuck what kind of music 
a girl listens to. And if she's dating me long enough, she's going to like my shit. That's yep. so weird that you would like suggest that she would have to like your shit. Like, but she that's not what I said. But she will. Yeah, I, just, I, I just disagree. I just, I, just, I just think yeah. a 20 year age gap it's is true. wild. Right, but you said like, pop why? artists. I, I brought it's it up as like an example. Okay, fine. Like it's, it's, it's just a random uh, example. It's been cultural touchstones. Oh, we, we watch the same shows. We both listen to the same music. Like the same. I don't, Having things don't in common. Care. Well, if, if all you care about is your sexual attraction, nope, period, that's, and that's where no, you end it. Not not okay, I just want to clarify. I just want to clarify. But just to, just to clarify, I think liking the same music is far more superficial than what you're trying to suggest here yeah. by. There's a sexual, the sexual component. Who your favorite pop artist is, same music. It's just one super, example of having something in common. Okay, with what are some things in common that would warrant me to date somebody? I think you should have a lot of things in common. I think you should enjoy doing the same things, going to the same places, hanging out with the same people. Okay, I don't like that. I would say the only thing really though. is like morals and maybe right, but religion you could be, based. You, you could, but but there's nothing. Having good morals and having well, no, a no, no. hold on, let me finish. Having good morals and having a religious worldview. You could be 21 100%, and be involved 100%. in your faith. No, you could be 45 and be an atheist. A hundred percent. I'm just saying that's the only thing as far as being agreeable or having things in common. That's the only thing I could see as far as being justifiable of wanting to have those things agreeable. Being in the same things in alignment as far as morals and right, but religion. Have, okay, but I'm not saying that. you have to be yep, the same age. You can age. have that in the, in no, the age. No, yeah, I'm not saying so that again, it has to be an age Make an thing. argument for the commonality component here. Don't you want to date people uh, that they are, they're going to teach you something? No. Men don't... I mean, I not teach. No, taught. I guess teach. that wasn't teach the right words. word. Okay, that wasn't fine. the right okay, word. Okay, go ahead. People so, like, you like that kind of music because that's what she brought up. You like that kind of music. I like this kind. I've never heard that. Sure, it's a commonality. It doesn't have to be. I yes. think it's a commonality though. Where I think it's more the, of just being in agreement with sharing. Why do opposites attract though? Why is that a thing? Like, there, there's some people have something, and then the other person completes that, and it. That turns into a mess. Wait, so commonality, that's super important. I think so. If commonality was really up there, wouldn't people sort for that? Are you, uh, so, first of all, when you ask me these questions, like the whole like smug, like, I know better, I know, like, I already disagree you with you, but you're asking you just to make a... You said pop star. Okay, let's, and that, let's not... That. Hold on. Okay. Gonna, no, I'm going to go to a Taylor Wait, Swift hold on. Concert. I'm going to finish Nobody. something. I'm going to finish something just I mean, really, not really quick. Me, but I'm saying... Having a conversation, if that's what we're doing, we're having a conversation, let's have a conversation to be open to other people's ideas and opinions and views and walks of life. Well, but that's not beliefs. what you're doing. Okay. We can have a volley of conversation, but where I have an issue with these types of conversations is when you already are getting ready, just make a point to, like, flip... I'm already ready. Exactly. Exactly. But it's like you're not even open for the conversation well, so why I are you that, asking your question also, Listen, i think that's a fair criticism so so i'll tell you i'm totally open to having my mind changed in fact i hate cognitive dissonance i try to get rid of as much cognitive dissonance in myself as i possibly can totally open to having my mind changed that's why i love having combos like this yeah when, absolutely but the thing is, is are you willing to have your mind changed i would be open to it for sure and the reason here's why if you're open to having your mind changed and we're having this conversation, how in the world could I change your mind without showing you if we apply this kind of thinking or the rigidity in thinking of I got the ick and then take it to its logical conclusion and you see that the position itself is absurd. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I think it's really difficult for you to completely change the topic in the sake of parallel ideas you should just stay on the actual topic and maybe ask onion layer peeling questions about how did i get to that logic so then you would understand where i'm coming from and you could even have an intelligent conversation in where maybe there's holes in my okay. logic on that well, topic let's, great then let's start with how well, did on. you come to the position that a, a age gap relationship is icky i'm gonna how answer that it? in how one did second you come to this? I, want, I will answer that in one second but i want to finish what i was saying to brian like See, like rolling your eyes, shaking because your head. Here, because it's a meta conversation. No, it's not meta. It, it's, it just, it's just no. you being a jerk. Do you know what a meta conversation I is? I sure do. What is it? A meta conversation is where you're just ice layering on top of each other, where you're not actually addressing the topic. That's not a meta or conversation. Or the what about is no. a meta conversation is a conversation about the conversation. Yeah. That's exactly what I meant by the layering. You're talking about the same thing. So what I want to, what I want to, like, I think it's really important to address. We all drove here and came here for your show, right? Okay, meta conversation. No, 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 no. You're this literally isn't... having a meta conversation. That, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But if we're going to okay. have a conversation, we can have a conversation. 
But when you're being disrespectful, that's not a conversation. Well, see, so when it comes I to the eye rolling, when it comes to the eye rolling, see, perhaps you might view it as disrespectful. Just but for example, it. if somebody were to say, yeah. Brian, I want to argue with you about the fact that I think that the sky is red. I don't want to argue at all. I already said that. <laughs> if somebody says something so ridiculous that it warrants an eye roll, I don't see any actual objection there. If somebody is going to say, Brian, the sky is not blue. I don't even know how to have that <laughs> conversation. And some of the eye roll comes from you saying, I mean, I actually find it quite almost despicable that you want to paint men. You said pre men prey, men are predators, men are mentally, you would question their mental health. I mean, that's very objectionable language because you're essentially painting almost most or all men as uh, having a pathology, which I object to and I find ludicrous. And when it comes to this commonality thing, I just find that absurd. I mean, why even engage in it? Because it's just ridiculous if you genuinely think that commonality is high on the totem pole in terms of what people find attractive. I completely disagree with you. If, if you disagree that in terms of my assessment of what you said, you've pathologized all men or most men, no, you think I, they're predatory, you think they're prey. prey. I said did if there's a 20 pray? plus did, year age gap, let's be words, clear, the 20 the plus words, year age gap. Yes, that's the context of yeah. which I'm addressing this. Did you say the word prey? When there's did, a 20 year age gap, yes. So, but you also ha said it about even men who find them attractive. You did say that too. Yeah, I think it's weird. Why would you? Okay, and you yeah. think it's predatory? Yeah. You think they're praying, right? So you're pathologizing. So there's the justification for my eye <laughs> roll. It's just an absurd <laughs> statement. Well, that's my opinion. And you're trying to get into to this. Okay, if you're, yeah. okay. It's a, it's a, a, listen, opinion. it's perfectly acceptable to have an opinion. Just, and I do want to hear it. Like, that's why I come on these shows, because I enjoy hearing your opinions. Yeah. Uh, the reason that I enjoy hearing your opinions is because often, and I've had to change my mind multiple times about different positions that I've had mm -hmm especially after starting whatever, because I didn't know very much about modern dating. I didn't know very much about how this stuff went at all. And I've, I've been forced to change my opinions many times because I was suffering from cognitive dissonance. There's no doubt about it. There are things which I had a completely skewed view, view on that I no longer do after engaging in these panels. So I do want to hear your opinion, but I think you got to listen to ours as well. My olive branch here is like, look, we've engaged before, right? And you know that if you give me your opinion, you're genuine. I am going to deconstruct it a bit, but we don't even have to have be disrespectful about it. We just go through the opinion and figure this thing out. Right? Yeah, I, uh, I agree with everything that you just said when it's done respectfully. But when it's like, it's so clear, like we're not even having a conversation. Wait, that's totally off. Easy. Come on, like, don't tell them, please. That, no. like, that's What's happening right now is you're unwilling to engage with the argument because you're feeling offended by the tone. Whereas you could be generous to the other person. Maybe you could even say, Brian's a little immature in his delivery. That's fine. But if you're a mature adult willing to engage with the actual argument that's being posed, I can put away the immaturity. I can put away the disrespect. I've had plenty of people on panels before really disrespect me and how they say things, but I still genuinely engage with the argument that's being presented to me regardless of how they say it. Mm -hmm. And I think you should be able to do that as a mature adult. Now. I'm just, I'm giving this as like a critique to your argumentation style. So instead of attacking somebody f because of the way they Wait, say things. attacked him? You're, okay. I don't Maybe think I don't want to say the word atta attack. Okay. Attacking, it is, I think women have a hard time okay. sometimes Maybe admitting I need to, that they're wrong. Okay, well, you're unwilling to engage with what I'm saying right now. Yeah. So maybe instead of, so if I say attack, maybe you can translate in that in your mind to say, okay, maybe he's making an argument or we're having a spirited discussion. Maybe I'm not going to judge him based on uh, the tone or the words he says. Maybe I want to interpret the meaning he's trying to get across with saying what he's saying. It's just, it's a really immature way to go about having a discussion with somebody, judging them based upon the verbiage, the language, and the tone of what this. they're using. Have the conversation. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I, I do genuinely want to know how you came to this opinion. Well, one, I'm a woman who was once in her early 20s. I did have conversations. I did have men hitting on me. I did, you know, work in environments where there was a lot of men that were 
acting predatorily because I was so young, impressionable, and easy to, you know, co coerce to do different things, go different places, etc. Yeah, that guy's right. I've had a lot of negative experiences with men that are much older than me, and. If now that I'm older, my number one piece of advice to younger women is try to just keep it around the same age as you. Like, I don't think 20 years, 30 years older than you is appropriate. That's just my personal opinion from my personal I lived actually, experiences. Andrew, yeah. So, I mean, you mentioned that you dated men who were older and they were bad experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Don't doubt that at all. Uh, but I also hear from women, for example, who date men their own age and have also bad experiences. Mm -hmm. So it's not clear to me that it really matters. If you're trying to avoid bad experiences, uh, I don't see really what age has to do with it. A guy the same age as you can be just as or more abusive and controlling as an older guy. Sure can. I just, again, my personal opinion based on my personal lived experiences is that there should be a smaller age gap. I say 10 years is roughly the max. Okay. So I have when a question you're, When you're guiding women, because you said this was your one piece of advice uh, for younger women, and I didn't get that wrong. I'm not strongmaning that, nope. right? You did say that's I, your number yep. one piece of advice. Yeah. Do you usually guide them only via anecdote? Clarify what you mean. Like only your personal experience? Um, I also, you know, I, I take into account, you know, who that girl is, their experience, like, you know, a lot of different factors, but in general, young women who are mm -hmm. in their early 20s, fresh out of high school, maybe early newly going into college. When you graduate when you're 18, I mean, fresh yeah. out of high school is two years ago. No, that's know. that's not that fresh, but okay, okay. fair enough. All right, well, I'm I just understand. Young women. I mean, within let's say for within five years, it's fresh. Like, we'll just say <laughs> that for the kind of like the sake of however it is that you feel. But do you, do you understand? So when when I talk to, to different men, I don't actually give advice, right? I, I make sure not to because if I'm not intricately familiar with a person's personal situation. One thing I do tell people, and this is the, the one thing I'll tell anybody who listens, is there is a proper way to think. There's a proper way to think and there's an improper way to think. And so when I listen to you kind of go through this, what I'm looking for is... How, how is she thinking about this? What, why is she thinking about it this way? And why is she arriving at that conclusion? Because most people come to improper conclusions because they have not been taught to properly think. It would actually be improper thinking to say, because I had negative experiences in field X, that therefore other people are going to have negative experiences. You would want to look at kind of the whole in order to make a good conclusion before you were to give somebody advice, right? You would agree with that, wouldn't you? I don't really think it's that deep though, Andrew. I'm just more referring to, you know, when I do have younger women approaching me and talking to me about their male situations, you know, I will go off of what they've shared and I will encourage them to date within their own age range. Can I ask you a question about that? But so, I mean, that has vast there. implications for a person's life, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I, I, yeah, giving a person an advice about who they should sure. or shouldn't date oh has Lord. massive implications for the outcomes of their life. Well, when I'm asked for my advice, I am sometimes will give it. Not always, yeah, but sure. sometimes. Yeah, no, sure. And I understand. That's okay. Yeah. There's plenty of people who give advice yeah. when they're asked in this type of thing. I tend yeah. not to. But don't you think that if you're a person who does give advice, that you should be coming to proper conclusions before you give it out? Sure. So when we're thinking about this, the reason that I'm gauging what you're saying and the reason I'm diving into what you're saying and the reason I want to change your mind about what it is that you're saying is because I think you're coming to an improper conclusion based on bad thinking, and I think that I can assist with that. And so that's why I want the opinion and why it is that you think this. And if all you can say is it's justified via ick, there's no way in the world, because you could justify anything with ick, right? You could justify any discriminatory behavior with ick. You can justify hating women with ick. You could justify hating men with ick. You could justify anything with ick. So that would be improper thinking, wouldn't it? I, I don't know, Andrew. I, I, I'm, this is, again, just my opinion. What were you going to say? My question is, so when I sit there and I look at men my age, where I'm from, mm -hmm. most of them can't tell their left ass cheek from the right. Mm. Okay. So when I sit there and I say, I look at men 30 plus years old because they know what they want. They've been through life. They, they're ready to settle sorry, down. How old are you again? I'm sorry. How old are you again? I'm 26. You're 26. Okay. Thir right. That's 30. So 30, 40, 50 that's year great. old men. That's who I 40, tend to look 50? at. Mm -hmm. 
right? Because they have their shit together, they know what they want. Men in their 20s, men in their 30s, they don't know what they want typically. They're it's the very, ones. very rare to find that. Mm. So I don't necessarily agree with your point of they should yeah, be closer together. Like I said, women tend to mature significantly quicker than men, mm. but the men aren't. Here's the scenario. So a woman dates a man who's 35 year old. Would you object to that age gap? It's getting a little out, out there, but it's not it's as enough bad to give as you 40. The yeah, okay. it's not as bad as 40. So let's say he's a good guy. He wants a monogamous relationship, doesn't cheat on her long term. Or would you prefer to see that woman say in the period over the course of two years, get kind of strung along by like fuck boys her age? Which do you prefer? I think if the guy is genuinely a good guy and actually mm -hmm. interested in her for more than just her physical looks and her appearance and the fact that she can pop out 20 babies, like there's actually care for her, then I think that a 35 year old, 21 year old, it's pushing it from my personal opinion. But I think that to your point would be a better scenario. Her. Does it change if he's 40? I just wonder why. Okay. So the question is in this scenario, He's a good guy, monogamous, wants a long-term relationship more with her. questions for me. Right. But would you rather see her in the situation with the older man who wants to have a long-term rela monogamous relationship with her, is not going to cheat, going to be loyal, or for her to just be hoeing around and sleep with 20 frat boys her age? Which would you prefer to see? I mean, I prefer them both to be settled and have a question. I literally answer the question. So there's two options. Please. Which would you prefer to see? The 21-year-old uh, the and the 35-year-old? Okay, so I changed it to 40. So okay. 20. I, still think, I think it's starting to get weird at 40, but yes. I, I would prefer to see them both like settled and happy. And again, it's a little uncomfortable for me, but I would uh, 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 prefer that for both of them. Over yes. her sleeping with men. And him. Her. It's really common in these particular red pill settings. Ryan, you don't need to be so rude. Could I make a comment as soon as... Like, wh know. why would you call me fucking retarded? Because, I mean, you dropped the prop, it's on the floor now, you haven't done anything to pick it up. Well, I would, but I'm a little distracted by you calling me fucking retarded. Yeah, I mean, here's the tone policing again, so... Is this a rage quit? Like no, other, I'm not rage quitting. You're just so disrespectful. Like who you, you but literally. Yeah. Hang, hang, on, hang on, hang on. Listen, it's, 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 it's hang on. It's been super hostile. Let's let's finish the combo. You don't want to finish the combo. I love you, Andrew. It was she, kind of fucking retarded. It was also she insulting and the mental illness. <laughs> it was a little. <laughs> Can I make a quick oh, comment? Serious. Let me girl. Well, yeah, you know, hey, it happens. <laughs> I can agree with Please. you on that one. Yo, Desmond, you can't, be, you can't be on your phone right now, man. Are we... <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Are we it's not that topic? Serious. Or can, can I still comment on this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been just texting stones for my phone. What happened to that? It doesn't exist anymore. We need to start bullying people again. <laughs> Um, I know. Brain yeah, bullying no. back. Some people need some thicker skin. What's up? It's not really Everything makes my eyes roll. Huh? I'm going to tell you right now. You can tell me you hate chicken okay. and I'll be like, well, it's dumb. But that's just my face. I mean, we <laughs> need you to leave. You can't just Please. be hanging out back there. I'm putting my shoes on. Okay. Unless you want to come back, participate in the panel. Come on. You know, I know for sure you've heard way worse than anything that's on this panel. Hey, what? I'll apologize for calling you a retard if you sit back down. That's I fair. For that is fair. Men mentally ill. It'll be, it'll be a genuine apology. That's fair. Wait, we can't. I mean, hey, we, can't we were having a good time. It was a good discussion, honestly. I would like to get back to it. I mean, did she not call you guys mentally ill and disgusting? Closing? Sorry, say that louder. Did she guys not comment on men being mentally ill and disgusting for that? That was yeah, but I mean, so what? That's every feminist who ever's on the show. <laughs> I just take it with a grain of salt at this point. <laughs> I'm willing to do an apology. That hair is all. Yeah, it's just like. Weren't you in the military? Like, I'm just confused. Like, isn't this sort of banter? Like, are you really that? You, you fucked up our prop. You fucked up the prop. We're arguing different ideas. Cool. Bro, you're, you're yeah. killing it in the tone policing department. So you can sit back down or you can leave. Honestly, sit back down. We can get back to having a good combo. It was Andrew, getting good. Left. It was good. Bye -bye.
Is she already gone? gone? Yeah. She's yeah. I guess, Morgan, we're going to have you sit in that chair, I guess. Welcome to the panel, Morgan. Yay. Can I say something yeah, go ahead. regarding that? Just like an opposite opinion, at sure. least. Go I mean, I, I was 21, and one of my most Best. meaningful relationships was with a 42 year old man. And he was mm -hmm. not predatory. He didn't make me do anything I didn't want to do. I felt like I grew with that person okay. more than anyone closer to my age. And I've even dated people younger than me. I've kind of understood both sides of that aspect. It really doesn't mean the age aspect is the deciding factor. It's not gross unless it's, you know, I mean, we all know what like that level gets to. Gross people are gross people regardless of age. Exactly. Yeah. And it also so. depends on the state of the woman, whether, you know, when she's 20, 21, the lifestyle she's lived. Oh, that's wow. the thing too, is you yeah, get you a lot know. of people saying that it's gross for a man to want to be older, man to be attracted to a, a younger woman, but yet there is very rarely, I feel like, and you talk about women that seek out younger older if, men. If, if, if you wouldn't mind on the mic, can you can you put your oh. mouth in front of the mic itself? Oh, because other, otherwise, the audio is, sounds is kind of funky on this end. Can you hear me better? Yeah. I feel like it's definitely not as common where you hear this talk a lot of basically it's icky and it's gross for older men to be attracted or seek out younger women but yet it's not as talked about where you get younger women seeking out older men that for part. their resources and because let's let's be honest that's usually why they're seeking out older men <laughs> because they're more established they're more that's like a majority uh, somebody like, says her then she has the mic the, the that's can that's you, all i'm saying can you hear uh, me now andrew <laughs> why give her mind she has a name andrew yeah I'm sorry, are you guys wearing name badges? No. Like, am I, well, how, many, how many time, names should I remember? Okay, so here's what I'll do from now on. It'll be Tiffany 1, Tiffany 2, Tiffany 3, Tiffany 4, Tiffany 5. <laughs> yeah, how about we just do I it? Would that make you feel better? I want to be Brittany. <laughs>